Hello. And welcome. And welcome. Hello. This is marvellous. Hello. Do you know what? I, the last TV uh, broadcast I did, I, unusually, was uh, in uh, Tallinn in Estonia. Oh, yes. And okay. uh, I was doing a show there, and they, they have a television tower. They're called the Teletorn. And it's iconic in Estonian history. I'm not expecting you to know that. No, no, but, no. But um, it was the it was the sort of iconic symbol of Estonian freedom when they got uh, independence from Russia, and they broadcast the freedom broadcast from this tele television tower. And the thing is that you can go and do your own broadcast oh, <laughs> down God. in the uh, basement where you they set up some old black and white footage from Estonian history, and you can then do you a walk like, on shot and you sit in and you go. Hi, today in Italian, da, 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 and it's just fantastic. Everywhere should have that. You could be the Prime Minister of Estonia, couldn't you? I think you've got that look about yeah, you. Yeah, I think yeah. so. What sort of broadcast would you do, though? You know, today, 37 Russians were executed in the town square. <laughs> right, yeah. Marvellous success. Marvelous. Great, great success. day. Yeah, Symbol of Estonian freedom, <laughs> Teletower. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, you could do, yeah, you, could, you pick your subject, weather, cultural, you know, Sport. Sports. <laughs> what is the national sport? Oppression. <laughs> Violent oppression. <laughs> the national sport of Estonia. I don't know, actually. I'm not. I tell you what, they invented Skype in Estonia. Did they? Yeah. National so, And they're very proud of it, as you can well imagine. Estonia's a great place. They it did is. Eurovision there, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, they, they shipped old Graham Norton off, I think, probably. Oh, God. Yeah. Server, do the bit of commentary. Do they? I do like Eurovision, oh. don't you? It is. It's an extraordinary spectacle. I particularly oh. like Lordi, the Finnish oh my God. winners. They were fantastic. Although when you go to Finland, I went to Helsinki as well, and you mention them and people from Helsinki go, oh, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's an embarrassment. To no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Estonia has most of its Olympic medals in weightlifting, wrestling, and cross-country skiing. You got the Wikipedia page for sport in Estonia. <laughs> yeah. The fact that that exists. That is brilliant. They wow. play a unique variant of ice cricket. Ice cricket? Yeah. Hell yeah. Ice really cricket. Yeah, really want to know what that is that's now. true. Yes, you can play cricket on ice. Do they use ice lollies as the bats? <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> Sponsored we, by we um, walls. <laughs> <laughs> and a scoop of ice cream as the ball. Yeah. Yeah. They have little skates as opposed to runs. It must be much more elegant. Yeah, similar to, uh, similar to indoor cricket, six aside, but it's on ice. There you go, I think, pretty much. Yeah. I guess everyone's yeah. on ice skates. Yeah, 61% of Estonia is forest. So most of their activities involve hunting, bears, wolves, elk, mm -hmm. moose. It's quite a... Oh, my it's, God. It's a very outdoorsy sort of it's place. It's like Canada, I guess, but in Europe. Yeah. It is the Canada of Europe. The Canada okay. of Europe. Estonia. <laughs> visit today. <laughs> they could use that. <laughs> yeah. I don't Canada. think they do. I think it's just something very, very generic, like visit Estonia. It's kind of a bit dull. That's the it. Canada of Europe, that would get, that would, people would come in their droves. They would get on the, the steamships, they'd people. sail away mm. to the, they'd, they'd see the Telly Tower, they're like the Statue oh. of Liberty yeah. oh my God. in the Bay of Estonia. Yeah. Oh, it would be wonderful. Yeah. It's one of those extraordinary places. It had the, the tallest building in Europe up until about 1628 or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then uh, there was something else, somewhere else. And then someone else built a, a bigger wall. A bigger wall. Yeah, a bigger wall. A bigger wall. <laughs> yeah. A bigger house. They put another story they put on a, a roof house. on a, a barn. <laughs> oh, we have lost that one. Uh, back to the wrong God damn uh, Lithuania, always building, building, always building, building, building bigger. Always building bigger. Damn them with their long poles. <laughs> oh, my God. Now oh, what? Shall we, shall we start? Yeah, you want to do, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Simple Simon. Today we're joined by the magnificent Bill Bailey. Hello. Um, wow. This is a little quiz show where we ask Simon simple questions about our guest. Okay. And you try and get them right. So, of course, you may remember um, Bill starred as Manny in the fantastic series Black Books. Yes. So our first question, Simon. Oh, God. In we're the right in second there. season of Black Books, episode mm. three, The Fixer, when Manny is in the bath... He, he wipes his hands dry before handling the toast. Right. In the next shot, his hands are covered in bubbles again. So, why do you think that is? What the hell? Because the toast fell into the bath. He had jam. He had a little, like a soap dispenser full mm -hmm. of jam. And he dropped the toast in the bath and then he just sort of, like, tripped it off and then ate it. Whoa. Bill, what's the answer? Uh, 
Oh, am I supposed to? <laughs> um, oh, it's a, it's all a blur. But it, that sounds very convincing. Plausible. That sounds, sounds plausible. eminently plausible. Or it's some terrible continuity error. <laughs> well, be. I, I'm uh, guessing that that's what it was. That's what happened. That's what seemed to make sense. Okay, well, good. Uh, would you like to give someone some points? Yes, a uh, uh, hundred points. A hundred points. hundred points. And we don't know if that was even the correct answer or not. No. But still, no. I managed but to get a hundred points. Just um, your recall of that event was, was well done. So was, I, was fantastic. Uh, I'm giving you a hundred. hundred and twelve. hundred and twelve? I'm giving you a hundred and twelve points. Bonus twelve points. Bonus twelve points. For... For just the, for the action of the jam out of the... <laughs> <That's what laughs> <that was> <laughs> Quite memorable. It's quite very enjoyable. I, yeah. The feeling of those yeah. things. They should put more things in soap dispensers. Yeah, know, I remember I mean, we did have a conversation about the fact that there was all kinds of health and safety issues. About the fact that there was uh. a hair dryer and there was all sorts of things that like, oh well, this encouraged people to use it. And I just oh, think, God. you know, if people are going to do that, then really that's. If people are going to put jam in a soap dispenser, then so be it. They're beyond help. Yeah. yeah. It's a terrific idea. I'd like to go. I think it would be one of those sort of travel in breakfasts, you know, where you'd go down the line with your thing and you'd have a whole load of soap dispensers. Yes. Yeah, it's just yeah. one squirt of everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tea, coffee, milk. Well, on your toast. Butter. Well, you'd get everything, wouldn't you? Why would you have like tea and coffee on your toast? Super absorbent. Yeah. Toast. Could work. Like yeah. a spongy toast. Spongy toast. Yeah, like injera. Injera. The, the injera. The, um, injera. The it's the bread. Estonian bread. No, that's the Ethiopian, actually. Oh, oh my God. Ethiopian okay. bread, oh, of course, because you yes. put the meat. On, on the, the, the bread. In the bread, And yeah. then you have a bread napkin yeah. that you put the You eat in. everything. That's what I love about it. See, I love a Eat Ethiopian the table, food. cutlery, everything. It's Ethiopian amazing. food, oh, fantastic. We've had that. This was on the show before. What do you mean? Cause, cause, no. Cause Sean, <laughs> Sean, 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 day nine plot. He said his favourite food was Ethiopian. Yeah, it is. It's quite spectacular. We have to go. You've got to check it out. It, it, it's, it's made from fermented uh, wheat it's called teff, and it creates this gigantic bread plate uh, out of this uh, stuff called injera and injera. basically the, the meat is placed upon the bread so the bread becomes the table plate everything so you eat your way through the table do you plate put like everything. a napkin like in, yeah you can if you like, want like a bread yeah, just, just a loaf of bread a, yeah a bread napkin I do, I do know a little bit you about know. Estonia because there was this um, this sort it's of QI type if I, if yeah. Ethiopia <laughs> I think there was um, they have these sort of big monoliths or like, like monuments yeah. made out of rock called That's right. ste bread. steles I think they're called steles or steels or something like that mm. and during the war I think Hitler he took or, or Mussolini took one of them back it was about Hitler, a, Mussolini, one of those one of, guys, the, one one of, those of those bad, bad men. Yeah, it, was a, it was a wrong one. <laughs> I think it was Mussolini took a, a big, Up to no good. one of them, like a huge one. It weighed about a ton back right. to Ethiopia. Yeah. And relatively recently, you know, it was it was shipped back at great cost. Oh, I see. Back. As a kind of a, yeah. a, a sort of rest restoration. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Historical legacy. Yeah. Here's, here's your, your national legacy pack from, you yeah, know, from a long time ago. Yeah. Wrong and buggers. Um, crikey. Well, there we go. That was a good first question. Bill also auditioned for the, the part, lesser known, this, this fact, um, oh part of Gimli in Lord of the Rings. Yes. Did he? Uh, why do you think he ultimately didn't get the role? Because John Reese davis is a better... No, it's not John Reese davis Yes, John Reese davis is a better actor than yes. Bill Bailey and yes. has been in a lot more things as a professional actor. Um, <laughs> so he got the role. <laughs> wow! What an iceberg! Oh my god, not oh, the no, lights! He's got the Don't do your lights! The button. Don't it do says on lights. and off! It's like the Everything will go off! <laughs> Don't do it, Bill! No, it's like do. the ultimate. Um, That's probably true. Uh, but um, He's taller. He's he's very good at uh, he looks very dwarf. He like looked pretty dwarf like, but I mean, he has a fantastic face. He has a wonderful. He's got a fantastic. Well, he face. has got a, but he and has got lovely, a very. Lovely he's blue got eyes. a very sort of expressive face. Mm. And the also the other thing was he's got a Welsh accent. He's got a beautiful Welsh yeah. accent, John Bruce Davies, and uh, they were looking for a regional accent, uh, and they wanted something that was because dwarves kind of, are, uh, they usually have a Celtic. Well, accent. they wanted something that was that could counterbalance the other accents in the film because there was I don't I mean you know the the hobbits have quite a lot of there's a bit of West, West Country, Country you yeah. know old Mr Frodo yeah you know, there's a lot of that I like how you did a West Country accent yet your normal speaking voice is a West Country <laughs> well, accent well I was just accentuating <laughs> for for effect yeah yeah just to, to, should there be any any yeah. doubt, but yeah, there was a. So I just thought, yeah, I mean, that was probably my own error because I went and said, I did it West Country, 
and oh, uh, they were going well. And they're like thinking, no, no, we've, the Hobbits we've are West Country. The Hobbits are full. Oh, the, we've we've, we've done. All the Hobbits. West Country's done. That Hobbits for so last hard. week. That's we're last week. We're out of dwarves. <laughs> That's Welsh. If I'd gone and, oh, yeah, well, I'll put that axe down or something. I can't remember the words. <laughs> yeah. But that's probably why I didn't get Put that axe down on the learn. goblin's head. Just put that axe down over there, near that goblin orc thing. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so that's it. And, and I and I see, the thing is, that's where you need preparation. If you, mm. if you, get, mm. if you know you, what they're looking for in an audition, this is a little tip for everyone going for film auditions. Good preparation. Get your accents right. If I'd gone... Totally off the wall, mm. like gone somewhere else. Like as I say, I've gone Scouse, yeah, I'll Geordie, something like that. Oh. I would have been in with a chance. I don't think the world's ready for a Liverpoolian hey. um, dwarf. Come a little, on, a little cheeky dwarf uh, drinking. Come on, then, go on, then, toss me. <laughs> Is that Liverpoolian? I think they're ready. Oh, no. they, they, you know, they're ready, they're ready for a fight. Maybe. They like drinking. Yeah. You know, that's Gandalf. He's boss, isn't he? You know. <laughs> That's more the sort of thing, like a little, yeah. you know. You, you got to have the. He's got a bit of swagger. The, yeah, yeah. You know, um, but yes, I, 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 I've got the wrong accent. That was probably, it. and of course, he's a, he's a, oh, he's a, got a marvelous voice and a beautiful face for classical dwarf work. Mm. Many, many hours of dwarf. So the well, real answer isn't that he's a bad Well, <laughs> you, you know, he could be. <laughs> I don't know how you gauge these I, things. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, so that's sorry. fine. It's very hard um, to act when you're... I might have to mark you yeah. down on that. Oh, crap. He was in, uh, what's it called? The sliders. Was it Sliders? Oh, oh, he was the, um, the, the he professor He went through wormholes. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so he's got, he's up got, he's got form, basically. Yeah. He's got yeah. fantasy kind of roots. Yeah. yeah. He's got fantasy roots. He's got that's fantasy right. credentials, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly, yeah. yeah. So maybe that's it. That's what, that's what swung it. How many points is he getting for that, Bill? 47. 47. I think that's very generous under the circumstances. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse. That was I could have docked insulting. you 1,000 so, points for that. Okay. That's very fair, okay. thank you. 159. Uh, so Bill, of course, big lover of animals, as you yes. know. Uh, great and small. What animals do you think Bill doesn't like? Oh. And why? Oh. That's a tricky one, isn't it? What animals? So, what animals he might be like afraid of, maybe, or or he just is repulsed Phobic. by? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Chickens. I think Must be he looks like a man who would probably be disconcerted by the presence of a live chicken. Um, but, you know, maybe it would put him on edge. You'd find it hard to relax around a chicken. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. If he was sat down in a restaurant and he just brought a chicken in front of him, I think that would ruin his meal. Even if he didn't order chicken. <laughs> and anyone um, else. Yeah, who and the rest of the table. To work the um, world's population. <laughs> yes. I don't know what. Uh, bears? He doesn't like bears. No, he wouldn't like a bear. A full, live, eight foot bear. Angry bear. Yeah. In a restaurant. Yeah, in a restaurant. <laughs> I didn't order this. What's going on? <laughs> I didn't order the bear. Out of you. Um, if I was standing next to a bear in a river, and we were hunting for salmon, then mm. I would be. I'd be in competition with the bear, so I would be scared of it. Right. But if it was a bear in a restaurant, the circumstances would probably mean there was, it was a tame one. Mm. And uh, so, and also there is, actually in Estonia, <laughs> would it don't worry on about salmon? it. They, they, what if you both they, ordered salmon? They, there was only one exactly, salmon left. Exactly, there was one salmon left. The bear would. That bear on the other <laughs> table. Fling you across the room. He's looking round, he's giving <laughs> they you They do eye. eat bear there, so yeah, you might even oh, get no. served bear. Yeah, Estonia, so, good grief. Anyway. So, so there's a salmon sitting at the table who's ordered bear. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Uh, in your face, <laughs> <laughs> you big bear. No, I, I would say that uh, you're wrong. Uh, okay. I had a feeling I would there you be. Go. I wouldn't be upset. I would not be well, disconcerted. Well, you know, you know by a chicken. Try. What are we talking about? I um, I've kept chickens, so in against the, uh, their will. Kept them, yes. I've kept them from you doing what they wanted man. to do. I've kept them back. <laughs> held them back. Held back <laughs> a I've, chicken. I've been. I've I've thwarted poultry's dreams. Um, he wanted to, you know, take a year off, it wanted explore to Europe, to and, and no, you were like, no. You know, back to chicken school. It particularly <laughs> wanted to visit Estonia. <laughs> it wanted to go. So, it wouldn't have gotten on with the bears. No, they wouldn't. Well, they yeah. really hate no. them. They're, they're the mm. arch enemy. So, you know, chickens, I'm fine with chickens. Bears, I'm fine with bears. I've, uh, I've, I've... Um, Tickle the bear? Do you know, I've hugged a bear. You've hugged a bear? I've hugged a bear, yeah. A real That's bear? Cool. An actual live 
And wow. Was this in the river when you you were what started working together to get the salmon and <laughs> afterwards you sort yeah. of bonded? This, you had a drink right. or two. <laughs> Things just progressed. Went on from there. Um, Come on, let's let the whole salmon There was only go. one sleeping bag. On. They went back to the bear's cave. <laughs> <laughs> Your cave or mine. <laughs> Yeah, so bears, I'm cool with bears. Yeah. Chickens, you're way off. No. What's the you're answer? Way, you're way off. If you'd said... Um, goldfish. Gold, Terrified no, of goldfish. No. Um, actually, do you know what? I'm slightly unnerved. And I know this sounds uh, it's a bit obvious, but um, you Worms. Yeah, uh, no, Fish. men whistling doing that. No. <laughs> okay. People doing that. Whistling. No, snakes. Oh. snakes. 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 Yeah. Oh, God. Like, a little like snake. bit... Wary of them. Indiana yeah. Jones is, yeah. yeah, you're okay. Yes. I mean, they can kill you, some of them. They can. Many of them are absolutely fine and harmless. And uh, and I've held snakes, uh, you know, and posed with them in the traditional manner, with them round your neck, you know, mm -hmm. and you do that and you go, what, like burlesque? Yeah, style. yes, in my cabaret act. <laughs> in, in the jade <laughs> dress, the <laughs> jade wear. The jade onesie <laughs> yeah. that I nearly wore. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm a little bit wary of that. So you're way off. Oh. So I'd have to dock your points here. Okay, so Whoa. minus points. Huh? Minus, I don't know, I'm going to say 72 points. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, that is so hard. 36 per animal. Okay. 159 minus 72. Can you do that in your head? So don't you have an app on there that has a calculator on it? <sighs> Probably, yeah. Round it up, say he's down to 80. Okay. So we're saying I'm on 80. 80, 80 okay. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Um, Bill's added a couple of, uh, of animal-related questions here. Has he? No, he didn't. I made them up. But, okay. but, but Bill should probably Bill. know the answer okay. to them. So, um, yeah. so Simon, uh, true or false, ants, ants will enslave other ants, uh, keeping them captive, much like Bill keeps poultry captive, yeah. and makes them do work for him, for the colony. Um, so well, ha so, what's sorry, this got so, to do with Bill? <laughs> Bill <laughs> has a colony of ants, and he's the queen. What? Or do, is it true or false? Ants, ants enslave other ants, keeping them captive, making them do work for the colony. Uh, it's it? true. You think that's true? Yeah. Do you, do, is that true, Bill? Uh, yeah, I reckon it is. It is true. It is true. Yeah. So do we both get points for that I don't one? Know. Sure. How does that work? I don't see it. Ten points each. I don't. You're up to ten. Ten. I, I did ask Terps to help me write the questions, okay. and I'm not sure he got the idea of the quiz. No, I don't think he. No, I don't think he's watched it, it right and he's off. been on it. So that's true. <laughs> there is another true or false question here. Go on. The Eurasian badger. Okay. Yes. Do you know, do you know Sorry, the, the just... Latin for all this? You're a big fan. Yeah. Uh, Bala, Eurasian badger, Melis, Melis. Very good. Yeah. Really? Uh, very anti social compared social. to their American cousins. Is this, okay. is this true yep. or false? Um, I would say yes. They don't rec return phone calls, they don't respond to emails. Mm -hmm. um, my mate Jeremy is actually a Eurasian badger. You built him a tunnel on the road. I haven't heard from him in like three years. Nothing. Couldn't even remember what he looked like. I send him birthday cards. He never sends me anything on my birthday. Um, mm. Jerks. What's the answer to that, Bill? I reckon. I reckon that's false. It is false. Yeah. yeah. So Jeremy is just an asshole. He's just, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like you. Far more <laughs> social. Far more social. Wow. There, there. He is hanging out with a load more badgers you don't even know about. He's in with a bad crowd of badgers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Badgers. On the wrong side of the set. Badgers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, they're very, so, they're very sociable, Eurasian badgers. They're always sharing stuff. I'm always down the pub. They're always like hanging Fire out. They, yeah, you can use a set. You know, it's a, it's a very big, gigantic badger community. One of the biggest, friendliest communities uh, in Europe. Okay, Apart from, of course, the, uh, Euro, the uh, Estonian Skype community. <laughs> 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 this is probably the best and, uh, of all. Skype, invented yeah. in, by an Estonian in, in Estonia. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, well that's fantastic. I think you okay. both get some points there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, well, I got, I got it wrong. You got it wrong. So Bill's so up to twenty. Oh, twenty? Yeah. Bill, you're up to, you're up to. No, I'll twenty. You, I'll give you forty. Whoa, what? And he's on. He oh, got it wrong. Well, yeah, so I got, got one ten right. for so knowing 19. the word badger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then forty <laughs> for getting for all the questions all right. other stuff. So you're on fifty then. Fifty. I put, as, and Simon's on. What are you on, Simon? Ninety, I think. Ninety. You got the first right. one right, but then yeah. you got the second one okay. wrong. So you're actually going to be back. No, to, that's uh, fine. Now you carry on with your points there. Uh, yeah, your big ninety points. So you're, you're at eighty. Good, just enjoy I'm very yourself. Proud of those ninety points. Enjoy uh, those points, because well, they're well, yeah. going down. You got it in one. Well, you didn't. <laughs> you got it in a ridiculously. <laughs> I did it. You ridiculous. got it in less than a hundred. <laughs>